Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to send a group text on Motorola. This is my Motorola Edge phone, Android phone. I'm going to show you how to send a group text on this device. And before we get going, though, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we come out with every Thursday. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to create a group text on your Motorola, Motorola phone. I can't even say Motorola today. I have no idea why. So the first thing we want to do is we're on our phone. We're going to go back to the main screen. And you're going to look for your chat, um, your message um, app, which is right down here at the bottom. For me, it looks like a little bubble, text bubble. And it's going to go into your messages. Once you're in your messages, if you look to the bottom right here, you're going to see start chat. We're going to tap on that. And this is where you can create the group for the chat. And then it's right here at the very top, very easy to find. You can tap on create group. And what it does is all your contacts are in here. So you can select people in here. Let's scroll down until I find someone I want to add. Let's, let's add my wife. You can actually search up here too by name, phone number, or emails. But I am actually just going to scroll down through my whole list and um, pick my wife. There we go. And I'll probably pick my son because... He doesn't mind having a weird thing sent to him because we're doing a test. So I'm going to pick two people. I add them in here. You can, like I said, you can do it by email, name, phone number. That's you can add them to this group. But we're just going to do it by the people I already have selected. And once you select everybody and you add everybody, you're going to hit tap the next button right here. I'm going to tap next, and then you get to name the group. Only you can see this group name. So you can name it something horrible or whatever you want to name it. Um, I'm going to say. Fun text. That's what we're going to call that. So I named it Fun Text so I know what it's about. That's the way you can identify it. So when you do your name, type your name in there. Just tap on the box and type it in. And then you tap Done down here. Tap Done. And then now we created the group. Now, let me show you. I'll do a quick message. Test. See if anybody does it. We'll do a test message everybody. Boom. We now have a test message out. So you can talk in here to these people you put in the group. Now, if you want to add more people to the group, you can go to the right up here. You can see the little guy with the plus sign next to him. Tap on that, and then you can add someone else. But if you don't see that, sometimes you don't see that, you can um, tap the three dots, and you should have something in here that says add. I it doesn't show it here because we already have the add person right there. So that's how you, you add, create a group on your Motorola Edge phone. This is for creating um, and sending a group text on your Motorola. So you can send that. I sent it if you want to. Actually, we'll go back out of it. Hang on, check this out. So we're going to go back. I sent one, so here it is. So if we tap back in it, and you notice that that little person disappeared at the top, so if you hit the three dots like I was talking about, it says add people. See, it will be there. If, it's, if you don't see in one, one of the icons, you're going to find it under the menu on the side. You can delete this whole thing if you want. So tap delete if you want to get rid of it. Or you can archive it or whatever you want. But this is just a group I made up. So I'm going to hit delete. We're just going to get rid of it. And said, oh, delete this conversation. So it just basically deletes the conversation. The whole group conversation is deleted. And that's how easy it is to send a group text on your Motorola Edge phone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.